Russia's president calls business leaders to the Kremlin and tells them some huge state enterprises that dominate big chunks of the economy must be shut. Stratfor says a power struggle is at hand between Russia's powerful clans. I think what Putin is trying to do is to make sure that Medvedev has responsibility for what is being done so that he, Putin, can distance himself from Medvedev if it fails and take credit if it succeeds. I'm Colin Chapman at Stratfor. Welcome to Agenda with George Friedman. The global economic crisis has hit Russia hard. In the second quarter, Russia's GDP declined by 10.9% year-on-year, this at a time when neighbouring China was going up by almost as much. The immediate outlook for Russia is not much better, and President Dmitry Medvedev is leading a Kremlin move to turn things round. This involves radical reforms of state companies, many of which were set up by his predecessor Vladimir Putin, now Prime Minister. State corporations are immune from normal bankruptcy procedures and seldom publish accounts. The president wants them reined in. I think that at some moment the creation of state corporations got out of control, he reportedly told businessmen. He also got in a serve against oligarchs and other tycoons that pay bribes, saying this must stop. The recent financial crisis has left the Russians with ownership of an awful lot of companies. Uh, not unlike what's happened in Europe and the United States. Many of these aren't viable and they're dragging down the economy. So under the current circumstances, they feel they've overshot the mark and are trying to peel it back. But of course, there's also a political dimension. Uh, The person driving this is the finance minister, uh, Kudrin. Uh, Kudrin has recruited, if you will, uh, President Medvedev and Premier uh, Putin has reluctantly agreed to it. So what is in a situation is they will try to do this. If it succeeds, Putin will take a great deal of the credit. And if it fails, Kudrin is certainly in trouble and Medvedev perhaps as well. In a special series, The Kremlin Wars, Stratfor reports intelligence that suggests there could be conflict between the Kremlin's powerful clans. The essential summary is that the Russians are starting to restructure their investment strategy uh, to allow for more Western investment, uh, to pass a law that actually guarantees that investment, something that's been lacking, and to provide more transparency and so forth. So in addition to shutting enterprises that are inefficient, uh, they've also been prepping the ground for reinventing Western money flowing in, although primarily in the bond markets and as direct loans. So what about the president's relationship with Putin? I think there's agreement between them that something has to be done. I think the real issue is who's going to take responsibility for doing something. And I think what Putin is trying to do is to make sure that Medvedev has responsibility for what is being done so that he, Putin, can distance himself from Medvedev if it fails and take credit if it succeeds. The question that's going to really arise there is whether the enterprises they shut down will be those that are inefficient or those that have poor political connections. That remains to be seen. Now, here's Marla Dial with a look at what else is on the agenda. We'll be following the travels of Zhu Kaihu, one of China's top military officials, through the United States. He'll be in talks at the Pentagon and touring military sites in six different states by the end of the month. A North Korean diplomat, Ri Gun, also will be traveling through the U.S., a rare event. He was granted a visa to attend seminars in San Diego and New York. But special watch goes to the travels of top Turkish officials, Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan will spend time in Pakistan before moving on to Iran on Monday. Meanwhile, President Abdullah Gul will be discussing economic cooperation with officials in Serbia, which has been getting quite a bit of attention from foreign countries of late. There's a battle for influence underway in the Balkans, and Turkey's getting in on the act. And speaking of battles, we'll be watching for Russia's reaction to U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's recent talks in Central Europe, where he urged political activism along Russia's periphery. You can help guide Moldova, Georgia, Ukraine along the path of lasting stability and prosperity. It's your time to lead. And there's also Iran, where UN nuclear watchdog officials will be inspecting the recently disclosed development site at Qom.